Hey guys, so I'm here bringing you another video. Now today's video is a bit of a different thing on the channel and is a unboxing and review of a couple of things that I've been sent from Team Dignitas. Uh, obviously I'm a member of Team Dig and we have sponsors that send us gear occasionally. Um, so without further ado, I've got the box right here. You can kind of guess who it's from, Corsair. Um, so we'll firstly just say thank you for sending me some stuff. It's always nice. Um, but then also I want to say that I'll be unboxing this now and showing you what's actually inside the box because I'm pretty sure I know what's in here, but you never know. And then I'll be using it for a week and then I'll return to making this video a week later and then giving you my review. I don't want to do a review straight away when I haven't used the product. Um, so let's open it up. Um, now, while I'm opening up, I just quick, quickly will mention, I do actually have the potential chance of doing more tech reviews and stuff in the near future. Um, and if I do decide to do that, then I will probably get more of a professional scene, let's just say, with a table and stuff, instead of just doing it in front of my computer as normal. But anyway, uh, let's open the box. Okay, now we have the box open, so I can show you what's inside. And it is what I guessed. So the first thing we have is the new... Uh, Corsair Saber Team Dignitas Edition mouse, so that looks pretty damn snazzy. And the next thing, I know there's going to be jokes in the comment section about this, we have the new uh, mouse mat as well, Team Dignitas Corsair style. Uh, so technically I've now been paid in a mouse mat. Uh, so let's have a closer look, I guess, at the mouse first, because this is kind of the main thing um, in the box. So the first thing to say is, like, that's pretty damn cool looking. Sorry for the shine. Um, so let's just quickly open this. Um, so again, standard packaging that you normally have with mice that they kind of show you the window. Um, but yeah, that's actually pretty damn cool. So this is the uh, Corsair Gaming Saber Laser Mouse. But then it's basically just got a Team Dignitas skin over it uh, from what I can tell. But also, they literally have changed the design fully because the light that's normally the little Corsair ship is actually the Team Dignitas logo, and I presume that actually lights up and everything, so that's pretty damn cool. So I'm going to get this out of the box, and then we'll uh, show you a little bit more with me actually handling it. Okay, we got the mouse out of the uh, box, which was quite difficult. Um, but anyway, as for the actual mouse itself, so let's look at it in more detail. So there you go. Uh, that is the actual design. That's not a sticker that's actually painted on. Looks really, really nice. Um, and then all the cabling and that is matched in colour theme. And yeah, for appearances, it looks great. Um, I would say it looks very wide, though. Like, if we do do a little bit of a comparison straight away, I'm currently using the Logitech G502. So if you compare the width, you can see instantly that the, the new Team Dignitas Corsair mouse is a lot wider. But that's quite handy for me. I've got fairly chunky hands, as you could probably imagine. So that could be fairly good. Um, but as I said, I'm going to be using this now for a week. And then you'll see at the end of this video a review on this mouse after I've used it for a week. So now I have the mouse mat outside the box. So there is the design. It is the jersey design that is available on the Team Dig store that the LCS players wear, the Counter-Strike players. Every single member of Team Dig has a jersey uh, of this design. Um, so what I'm going to be doing now, as this was just kind of the mini unboxing and kind of here's the products type uh, part of the video, is that I'm going to be using these now for a week. Uh, I'm going to use them every single day for a week as I obviously am on my computer every day. I'll game with them, I'll play League, I'll play Counter-Strike, I'll play whatever I'm playing. And then after the week, I'll come back with a review. And the one thing to say is, before we get into it, is my opinion will be my opinion. I will be honest and truthful. If there's something I think that could be better, I will say that. That is the thing with me. And hopefully you guys, if you've watched my YouTube channel for a while, you'll know that I'll just speak my mind because I'm a fairly honest, blunt person. So there you go. So the next part coming up is the review. So this is now the review half of the video. I have now been using the products for about a week or so. Uh, I've been playing League of Legends at a high level and I've also been getting back into CSGO and obviously using this mouse and mouse mat combo. Um, so firstly, let's just get into it. And before we do, actually, I just say and remind you, this is my opinion. Uh, I'll be giving you the pros and cons, and I'll be honest, there isn't really any cons. Uh, there is just one thing that I will mention. But anyway, firstly, the mouse mat. So I actually kind of find it hard to review a mouse mat considering it's a mouse mat. The biggest selling point to me is it has the, di the Team Dignitas logo and artwork, as you can see up here. It, it looks really good. It complements your desk, and it just gives you, you know, that Team Dignitas feel. Uh, as for the actual quality, again, it's a mouse mat. They're hard to review, but I'd just say it's been no negatives. And I pretty much think that is what a mouse mat's supposed to be. It's supposed to complement the mouse that you're using to give you a surface that it reacts to well. And from what I can tell, it's pretty good. 
Now moving on to the mouse, which is obviously the main thing. And the thing to say is this is like a mid-range mouse. You know, it's not low end, it's not crazy high end, you know, above a hundred pounds. It's mid range. And for that, I actually think you get very good value for money. Again, I've been using it for a week. I've been playing different games. And the big thing for me with a mouse in computer gaming is it if it basically makes you muck up. If your mouse is the reason you died, if, if the mouse is the reason you didn't get that kill. And so far, the week I've been using it, I probably could say the mouse has not been any negatives towards my own play, um, which is a good thing. Now, again, it's a mid-level mouse, so you don't get any of the weight systems that some mouse do. It's actually advertised as a lightweight mouse, which I can definitely tell, and which allows you to move the mouse basically in any direction you want. And again, I'm playing League and CSGO, and I'd probably say this mouse is very good for CSGO. It's very good for League, but pretty much any mouse is good for League. But for CSGO, I actually rate this mouse very, very highly. Now, one of the biggest selling points for me anyway is how it actually looks. It looks fantastic, as you can see up here. Like, it's just probably the best looking mouse on the, uh, the market for me anyway. Obviously, I'm a bit biased in this matter because obviously I'm part of Team Dignitas and I love representing Team Dig. But if you support the, the, the organization or, you know, you have aspirations of becoming in the organization, this is a mouse that looks pretty damn cool. And especially if you go to lands or tournaments like I do occasionally, Having that while you're playing, people know where you're from, people know who you're representing, and that, to me, is pretty damn cool. Now, I want to get into something that is actually a slight negative. Now, the weird thing is, it's not actually a negative about either of these products. It's actually about something that complements these products, or is supposed to. And that is the software that attaches to this mouse. Now, obviously, if you've never owned a gaming mouse before, basically every single one comes with some type of software that you can configure the mouse. You can configure the DPI, the lights on the mouse, you can keybind them differently, that type of thing. Now, the software that Corsair have uh, for the mouse, it's not terrible, trust me. Uh, it's I've had worse, but it could do with some improvement and it does take a little while to get used to. If you're not tech savvy, it might take you a little while to just work your way around. For me, it took me about five minutes to kind of figure out everything that I needed to do, but I am somebody that has used a lot of these softwares in the past. Um, but one kind of use for the software, if you're unaware, is changing the lighting of the, all the colors of the mouse. Um, so by default, you know, there's reds and blues and everything. So up here, there's actually a picture of my mouse that's on my desk, and you can see all the lights actually match each other, which is the Team Dignitas official color. Um, and I did that basically by just entering the official color code uh, to the correct colors. And uh, yeah, I think that makes the mouse, you know, even look better when it's officially matching to the official colors. So overall, I would probably say both products I'm happy with. And for me to say I'm happy with means that I'm going to continue using them. And that is actually kind of big, a big deal because I have a lot of spare products that I could use instead. You know, the Logitech G502 that I showed you earlier, that's like double the price of this one, but I'm going to continue using this one because I actually prefer it. I prefer the wider feel. I prefer actually how light it is. I can have free movement. And you know, it's actually made me, in a way, and this is gonna sound weird, play better on League and CSGO. You know, the DPA, DPI changer is in a nice position, all the buttons I can find easily. And I would very much recommend this mouse, if you're in the, the market anyway, for a mid-range product. And yeah, that's pretty much all I can say. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. This is going to be the first out of hopefully a lot of reviews. Um, so let me know what you think, and if you do get one of these products, make sure you tweet it out me, Huzzy Games Lol, and Team Dignitas at Team Dignitas, and let us know what you think. So thank you very much for watching. Like the video if you like it, subscribe if you haven't, and I'll see you guys next time. See ya.